Okay, everyone, it's Demise, and today we're, we're doing solo stuff, I know. I know it's more fun with Z and Ultra, but, you know, sometimes it's nice to just be myself. Um, I'm going to be recording a bit of speedrunning today, just because I want to keep recording stuff. Uh, like I said, um, if you don't, if you haven't been uh, caught up recently, I haven't really been playing too many free actual series because, uh, you know, lost a bit of that tension when I got the greater player for the year like I'm gonna wait till next year to like be doing a lot more serious speed uh, serious like full gameplay stuff um, at least like casually I guess like I might do some interesting things like a tutorial level and stuff uh, for this year but you know for now I'm just gonna chill out play some speed runs because speed runs are fast and they're fun at least for me I don't know if they're fun to watch but you know let me know what you guys think. Do you guys actually think that it's not worth for me to speedrun? Because I speedrun in my own time, even if I'm not recording. So, if you guys don't want to see this, like, I can try to do st other stuff, but, like, I've just done everything pretty much, and I'm just waiting for Road to Letter end, you know? And, like, like I said, I find this content enjoyable to make. Um, I know that's not really something that is a qualifying factor, but, you know, if people, like, don't have a problem with it, then I would, I would like to continue. I mean, it's kind of the same as Sproggy Wood. I enjoyed recording it, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So, unfortunately, I had to just, you know, take a chill, slow it down. Maybe I'll come back to it like a month later, but yeah. So right now, we are going to be playing our old Minotaur Berserker. Probably not going to go for anything. Uh, it's too special. I'm just, you know, chilling, just having a bit of fun. And I'm also spending a little bit of time to uh, set up my music because... Unfortunately, I didn't prepare beforehand because I'm unprofessional. But hey, you can't expect me to be professional. I'm Demise. Like, come on. If I was professional, I'd actually edit these videos, but you get raw, unedited footage. How great. It's also good for me uploading, too, especially with Australian net. Anyway, I've been rambling for, like, a couple of weeks now, so let's, let's, start, let's start going. Um, okay, immediately we are lagging. Okay. Okay, that was an interesting start. If this is the world record, that'd be hilarious. Alright, well, that's a D1 large shield. As we all know, that's pretty damn good. You get it on D1, and then you just kind of play one-handed for the rest of the game. It's pretty interesting strategy that I've picked up, um, mostly because it's, like, slightly faster to play... S like, it's safer to play uh, speedrun... When you're playing speedrun strats, it's, like, actually safer to play with a one-handed axe. It's probably a warm-up game, though, so I don't expect this to be a great one, but if I manage to win, that'd be nice. I actually haven't won um, at all on these on this account for, like, ages, so it's, like, pretty sad. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Just mostly gonna, like, get back into it. I'm usually a bit slow on the first couple of games, just because I'm, like, getting back into the groove of things, but, yeah, it's all good. Alright. Alright, so already we're, like, really slow. One minute to D3 is, like, pretty damn slow for us. But hey, we might just dive a bit more. We've done some fairly, uh, fairly, like, extensive searching on these floors, so, like, it's not too bad, I guess. We're a little bit ahead of the XP, but that's, that's fine. We're, I think we're on code now, now that we've dived that floor. Uh, we also have, like, some pretty decent gear as well, so it's quite good. Like, a lot of auxiliary slots. Early game, the auxiliary slots are really important. Like, they give you one extra AC, uh, one extra AC per thing. It's really overpowered. Wow, second large shield. I mean, can't use the second one, but hey, it's cool to see. Alright, Hand Axe of Venom basically means that, like, most everything will die to me in one or two hits, which is nice. Very good for the early game, obviously. Also means I should dive a little bit more. I'm gonna just read a couple of scrolls. Oh, oops. Okay. Okay, so I'm already screwing up my uh my equip my inventories, and that's because of the rust. But we'll try to get past that, I guess. So yeah, even the orc warriors are like dying to me. It's pretty impressive. Um, uh, crap. Uh, is there anything in here? Ah, oh, crap. Battle axe of electrocution. Okay, we can't get that though. Actually, it's not worth it to buy anyway because we're using one hander. We pretty much designated this game for a one hander, which is nice. Uh, this is a good thing. The slow is bad, but everything else is decent. I'm just gonna... Like, I'm really slow right now. I, I apologize. Like, this is just embarrassingly slow, but... Hey, come on. 
Ooh, what's this? Plus three axe. Eh, it's probably not as good as the Venom, to be honest. Venom is really strong right now. Especially in this stage of the game. Like, most of the time, stuff that's, like, relevant to the normal game is, like, also relevant to speedrunning. It's just that, like, there's a couple of things that, like, change a little bit. Like, your perception of how the dungeon works and how dangerous, like, it's just, like, all different. It's kind of interesting. That's why I really enjoy speedrunning. It's just, like, it's so different from what I'm used to. And you gotta, like, do some interesting stuff as well. Like, I don't know. I am kind of disappointed by the fact that I haven't really broken a world record or, like, even gotten a win, to be honest. Like, I feel quite inadequate, but, you know, it's just, it's a consequence of just running fast and just sometimes fall over. <laughs> that was pretty funny, I guess. Alright, I don't think any of the shields, or any of the amulets will be that good, yeah. Like, we've already got the best one possible, I guess. So, like, oh, well, sorry, we've got, we've got the one that we're going to have for the rest of the game, so we don't really need to think too hard about the rest of it. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty straightforward, I guess. We're going to get a... Oh, it's 4 minutes 39? What? Oh, 3 minutes 52, okay. I was going to say... Okay, so we're a little bit ahead on the uh, the actual timer, so it's a 4 minute lair, which is fairly good. It's not terrible. I usually, on, on fast runs, I will get to lair at about 3 minutes 40, which is a lot faster, but, you know, sometimes, obviously. I guess the early game isn't that important, it's mostly getting the vamp. I, I bit my tongue, and then, like, my voice cracked. That was embarrassing, but yeah. Like, my tongue really hurts. Like, this side of my tongue hurts. It's actually quite painful to talk. I don't know why I'm actually doing it today. It's kind of stupid by me. But hey, I'm doing it. Whatever. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so... It's mostly about the vamp RNG, like, honestly. Like, if you get a lucky RNG thing, like, you just win. It doesn't matter. That's good, but not good enough, I think. Oh, God, what's going on? I gotta berserk that Black Mamba. I normally would take the Battle Axe of Electrocution, but I think that it's just not that important to get it, so like, I just don't care that much. Like, it's a great weapon, don't get me wrong, but in all honesty, it's not a big deal. Okay, this is a decent weapon for me to fight with. This is also potentially really good. Curse was plus one. It's not that great. I'm just gonna put the other one on. I know this is slowing me, but, uh, like, it has a chance to slow me, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna be that bad. What's going to work? I just berserk stuff, and it's still okay, mostly. But yeah. So right now I need to berserk. Yeah, take care of those guys. Oh, that's a... Spriggan. I don't want to handle that. Okay. So, most of the early game, um, we've discovered, like, over time, I guess, that the technology for berserk is a little bit different from Aquara. You tend to not want to use Brother in Arms too much, or um, Trog's Hand, because you want to maximize your piety gains so that you get as many... Uh, as many gifts as you can early game. It's kind of like an interesting idea that I kind of theorized on. And it's made me somewhat faster, but not really. Like, it's kind of sad. This is kind of annoying, though. Like, every time I see Sonya, I am so sad because she she distorts me like 50% of the time. I can't do anything about it. Like, she's way too fast for me. I just can't handle it. It's pretty bad. Um, so we saw the swamp. I'm gonna have to explore the rest of the floor because that spider. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Let's just, uh, check out all this stuff. I want to get, ideally we get, uh, some kind of way of getting a brand weapon or something crazy. Whoops, we read our teleport by accident. Okay, that's fine. I guess we just have to keep moving. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Speedrunning is a lot about, like, making clerical errors and then, like, having to just deal with it. It's just unfortunate, like, sometimes. You can't really, like, blame it on the skill. Like, it's just... Sometimes shit happens, you know? Just gotta... This is our third plus three ring of evasion. That's crazy. RNG. What the hell? Okay. Alright, we're getting shafted a little bit by the RNG. Um, just a bit. Not terribly bad, I guess. But still bad enough that I'm sad. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, we might be dead here. Uh, we actually don't know what our curing is. Okay, that's that's the curing. Uh, we need to heal wounds like instantly, or we lose. Okay, we'll just fight whatever. Fuck them. Wow, we killed them. That's incredible. Damn, we're good at this game apparently. All right. Like I said, I'm just not. I'm like not exactly going for the world record yet. I'm still like trying to like 
sink a little bit, which is kind of bad. You're not supposed to think in the speedrun, you're supposed to just go for it. But, I don't know. It's first game, first game, warm-up game. Not taking it too seriously, just... I think it's time for me to just start winning again. Like, I honestly think that I just want to keep winning, and not focus too hard on speedrunning, just get the, I guess, ideology down, and then when I get the good RNG, I go for the world record. Like, it's not... Like, I need to go every single game for it, I guess. It's kind of a sad um, thing, but, you know, so you do what you do. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm just... God, I'm so bad at this game. Holy crap. God, that's, like, such a bad... I'm so bad at this. Like, menuing is just a, a nightmare in this game. Just because there's so many keys you have to press, and they're always different every time. Like, I do know that there's macros available, but I feel like, I don't know, it feels like it's automating the process a little bit too much for my tastes. I prefer to just, like, enjoy the randomness of the run. But, you know, once I seriously start pushing for speedruns, like going sub-30 and all that crap, I'll probably uh, implement it down, but for now it's not too big of a deal, I guess. Oh my god. It's just so frustrating, because, like, all the rings I'm getting are... Just like not as good as the plus three evasion, so I'd never leave anything on. It takes time to like drop all the bad ones. Oh boy. Alright, probably can dive this floor, it's not necessary to keep going. I just want to get like the majority of the XP and then piss off. Okay, more extra chopping is not terrible, but it's not good enough. Okay. Okay, we can't actually kill a Hydra unless we was that. That's good. Good to note, I guess. It means this character is fairly weak, which is kind of scary. It's kind of annoying, too. But eh, whatever. Ah, shit. Okay. Alright, just checking my skills. Apologies for the spam. I'm trying to, like, also keep it kind of viewer-friendly. I'm trying not to, like, press as many buttons, because I notice that when I watch, sometimes the menu flashes for no reason. But that's me actually trying to, like, diagnose my character. But like I said, I'm just I'm just testing out like different types of way uh ways to play this game, I guess, in terms of speedrunning. Like there's a lot of scope, a lot of different stuff you can do. I'm just like pretty much chilling, just seeing what's up. Still no vamp. It's unfortunate, but I guess we don't get it this game. Like you wish I wish I did, I mean it'd be nice, but hey, whatever. I mean we're still fast. We're we're still like like I said, I, I still have a feeling that it's not unreasonable to say that I'm the fastest player in the game. Uh, like, now and, like, from now, I guess. Like, not, like, there might be one that's faster than me in the future, but currently and in the past, I don't think there's anyone who's been faster than me. But, um, it's mostly like, it's mostly that, like, because of the combo that I play, which is Minotaur Berserker, compared to, like, Formicid Fighter, I'm not getting quite the same RNG as them, because they play Aquara. Um, and they also play Formicid, so it's like a bit different RNG. And their RNG is like significantly better than mine for some reason. It's just, I don't know, haven't got the vamp axe. Once you get the vamp axe, you can see what I can do. Like, we saw the speedruns crawl, uh, watch this video, remember that one? Uh, that was a great video. I even got the vamp axe pretty early and then, oh my goodness, things happened. Uh, but yeah, like we're, we're we're a fast. I'm a fast player, but I just don't get the RNG. Once I get the RNG, it's good times for me. But like, it's probably just because like I don't play enough and I don't try enough. I really do want to try more though. I'm gonna just have a go, I guess. One um, one nice thing about taking a couple of breaks from playing speedruns is that the uh, one sorry, one of the bad things about um, taking breaks is that you actually deflate the pool of ghosts, kind of. Cause like you don't leave as many ghosts because you haven't died as much. It's an interesting consideration to make. World record might. Wait, did I see vamp? Oh, fuck. Damn it! It was a tackle. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, that's fine. I guess why not? All right. Well, we're on D15. It's about 12 minutes. It's a fairly slow run. But what can you do really? Like we're not. We don't really have a choice. I think we might just quit this character or something. It's like, it's not, it's not a particularly uh, amazing run and I don't have our poise, it's just like, eh, you know, unnecessarily bad, I guess. The game's not gonna really progress much further than this, to be honest. I'll probably die in Spider and then 
be sad about it. But that's eh, whatever. You do what you do. Like on this account, there's actually no considerations for win rate. Ah, we die. Uh, we died to just being confused and not being able to unconfuse. Like, it's fair. But, that was a good warm-up game. It was an excellent one. And we've only been recording for 15 minutes, so let's, let's do another one. This one's got a lot faster of a start. It's quite good. A nice, direct thing. Get shafted a little bit by the RNG there, due to the poison dagger, but everything else seems pretty much fine. This Robin here, it's good EXP for me. Um, I've been taking to uh, trying out dex leveling rather than int and strength. The reason why I used to train strength is because I just had reflex, like it just reflexively did it. Uh, I trained int for a bit because I went brainless once and it was really annoying. And I'm just training dex now just to see if it works. Wow, we almost died to someone in... Oh, whoops, I just trained strength. See, the muscle memory is on strength for some reason. I don't exactly know why. I don't train strength that often, uh, especially on Minotaur Berserker, but like, I don't know. For some reason it just seems like the right thing to do for this character. So I just naturally press strength, because he's a strong guy. But yeah, I don't know. Like, my hands are... I don't know. I, I've, I've said this before, but like, my hands move at like their own pace. It has nothing to, nothing at all to do with like the way my I talk. Like, I have literally... I'm literally just like watching this happen. It's cursed minus six. What the fuck? Wow. Like, that's some nice RNG right there. Alright, cool. Alright, we probably need some uh, armor at some point. That'd be nice. Can we get some armor, please? It's already D6. Had to fight an Orc Warrior with nothing. That's nice. Always good. Alright, cool. We got some armor. Stole it off some random dude on the street after murdering him and his entire pack. The goons. Feels good, man. Let's keep moving on. I guess we'll dive this floor. Oh no, we pick up this wand. Oh, this thing. It's a ring of flight. Per the huge. Nothing good. It's okay though. Uh, here we can get the lignification potion. That's pretty good. Uh, there's nothing here. It's a food shop. Food shops are useless, pretty much. For this run. Like, generally speaking, you'll have enough food. Especially with the uh, auto eat and stuff. Alright, just gonna drop those rings because I don't think I'm gonna use it. In a case where I need to fight a cold enemy, I'm not gonna have time to hot swap anyway. I'm just gonna die probably. <laughs> like, it's just faster to die. Like, I don't know. Keeping, keeping, like, preserving yourself is not incredibly powerful. Also, you really learn to appreciate whites in this game. It's funny how much, like, their, their stuff is always enchanted really well. It's rarely negative enchant. I don't think I've ever seen one with a negative enchant. It does sometimes come cursed, but it's fine. Like, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's just ID these things. Okay. Gonna have to berserk early here. Probably should have berserked one turn later, but, uh, you know, the hands, they sometimes do their own thing. Um, this is a cool vault, I guess. I guess we just berserk here and then hopefully kill that thing. Okay, great. Okay, um. Okay, we just might in liquidification, we just kill that real nice and easily. It's good stuff. Check out what this is. That's pretty bad, I guess. Uh, this vibrating ring is pretty bad as well. That's a Cyclops on D9. It's a bit out of depth, but that's fine. We took it out. I'm just doing this floor because I want the extra XP. I think that it's pretty important to get a bit more XP. Um, plus 5 is probably as high as it's going to get. There's no real point in going for that other uh, thing. Sorry, I'm getting distracted again, per the usual. I'm just going to drop all my ones except for digging. You can do that by pressing the uh, forward slash button, uh, D forward slash, and then selecting the ones you don't want to drop. It's a really new, I guess, bit of tech that I've been running. It's not much faster, but I don't know. It, it feels kind of cool when I do it. Because like, I'm not confident in using it, but I just do it anyway. I'm like, yeah. Sometimes when you drop like 10 ones at once, you're like, ah, I feel good now. Doesn't obviously what it obviously doesn't work if you're like if you have like half your ones being useful because then you're just wasting time. But in my instance, it is. Wow, giant spy club is enchanted. It's actually really interesting. I've never seen that before. Like you don't see that very often. Christ. Okay. I guess this run's gonna be a battle axe one. Um, just on the account of like 
not having found a large shield. I, I generally don't bother with the shield. I just go for the large shield, but eh, we'll see. Okay, I'm just gonna ID the potion, I guess. It's degeneration, of course. Per the huge. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Alright, cool. So our character is pretty crap so far. It's nothing of real value on this character. So if I die here, it's not too big of a deal. Like I said, it's like these, I can get to lair in four minutes every time now. It's like pretty consistent. Um, unless it's like a D11 lair, but sometimes I'm even fast enough to get there anyway. Like on at, at the four minute mark. Got shafted, no big deal. Like we want to kind of go down anyway. It's not too big of a deal. If you get doubled, if you get shafted like three times, it's kind of bad. But like one time is fine. It's just pretty much the same thing as normal. You were gonna die in the first place. All right, let's see what this is. RCMR minus. That's pretty bad. Okay, I'm just gonna take it off because MR minus is a pain in the ass. I don't want to deal with it. Even if it does give me RC, it's not worth it for the one extra AC. MR minus is pretty important. Like, and I don't want to be spamming AB. Uh, God, what's going on here? Ah, shit. Okay, this is kind of scary. Okay. Nope, okay. Yeah, I messed up. I pressed the... I forgot that the, um... I forgot that, like, when you cleave with the axe, you don't do full damage to the guys you do cleave. You only do full damage to the guy you hit. So I hit the spiny toad because I was like, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. And then, in that little, like, instance, I was like, oh, shit, I didn't do enough damage to the hydra. I thought it was going to die instantly. So, I was like, uh, I'm just going to save a bit of time. But in saving that time, I ended up dying. It's unfortunate, but, you know, it happens. So yeah, as you can see, like the speedrunning here is not like incredibly strenuous yet. Oh wow, that was unfortunate. Like immediately first enemies we fight is like nulls. It happens. Like, eh. With this big of a sample size, you do see this kind of bullshit sometimes. And you are playing Minotaur Berserker, so technically I was supposed to get out of that, but because I was pretty much instantly from D1 to D2. It's like you can think of it like I was shafted instantly. Um which makes killing a pack of gnolls a bit difficult. It's easier here when I got the really nice uh, layout in terms of like just like where they're standing and stuff. I was in a good spot, I guess. Man. So yeah, let's talk about the channel for a sec. Like, as you guys probably have noticed, if you guys do watch my videos or you watch the channel consistently, like you do notice that the subscriber count like doesn't change that much nowadays. It's been like that for like a week or so. I don't really know how to fix it. It's probably not something I can fix. I think we're just hitting like the cap of like easily findable people to watch my videos. It's kind of sad, really. I've been growing, cons like it's been an amazing year of growth. Like I've not stopped growing in like the whole year. Like we went from 0 to 206, uh, 609 I think, 610 at the time of this recording. And it's pretty crazy, like, to see that much stuff just, you know, just like gathering. It's it's really cool. Ah, oh, shit. I'm dead here. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's a bit discouraging because like I've seen a whole year of growth, but I accept that like the crawl community was gonna hit its limit eventually. I can't expect to keep growing forever, it'd just be ridiculous to grow at that same rate. But, you know, as as I said before, it's a little bit sad the channel can't grow much bigger than this, but we will try to grow. I'll never stop trying, I guess. But, you know, things will obviously eventually work themselves out. I'm sure that every channel will eventually grow if you give it enough time and you keep at it long enough. Alright, we killed a phantom. That actually makes it pretty good. I, it is worthwhile to explores four though because we are very under leveled right now having been shafted twice. I'm just gonna try to find an upstairs uh, a way upstairs and through this area. Once I do that I'll just chuff off back. I'm only doing this because I want to have a smooth orb run. Like I don't want to screw up my orb run for no reason just because Wow that's a D3 hippogriff. Damn it's crazy. That shit cray. Alright just gonna explore till I see an upstairs and then I'll just Piss off. Come on, man. Really? Holy crap. Okay, nah, screw it. We're just gonna go. We'll, we'll figure it out on the old run if we get there. It's no big deal. 
I'm just going to read some scrolls. Uh, sorry. Screwed up there. Did I really not burn the books? Damn it. God, I'm so bad at this game. But yeah, like, um, anyway, as I was talking about the channel, like, I did want to ask a question, um, and I was going to put it in a, in a regular series or something, but like, I forgot, per the usual. Yeah, RFM people, so it's not bad. Um, so like, for those of you that actually do watch my videos every day, like, what are you guys thinking? What do you guys think? Like, because it's really weird, like, uh, Daniel was actually talking to me, one of the rare times that Daniel's talked to me since, um, since he left for, uh, the Americas. But he said to me, it's actually, you should be more interested in the fact that at least 100 people per day are watching your videos. And I said, huh, you're right. That's actually pretty interesting, the fact that, like, that's a thing. So, for those of you that do watch every day, but, like, don't comment, don't, li uh, don't like, don't do anything, like, is it the same 100 people, or is it, like, or is it, like, different people? I don't, I, I don't know. It's just interesting to think, I guess. I guess... If you are watching this and you have never commented, you probably won't, but hey, I want to try. I just want to see what's up, like, you know, how you guys doing? I, you guys are like the vocal, the, the silent majority, and I always try to get you guys on, on side, even though, like, I don't really get to hear your thoughts. It's still cool to, like, think that there are people there that just watch me and, like, don't really care too much about the channel. They just, like, kind of watch and be like, hey, that's pretty cool. That's neat, I think. That's really neat. Like, I don't know. It's is it, is it weird that like I care more about the like generally like you could say is like disinterested I guess the apathetic I suppose audience. Like it's really interesting to think about them. I don't really get to talk to them much I guess because well they're silent. But it is cool. It is cool. Like I've probably talked to about a hundred people myself here on the channel. Um. But they're not all the same people. Ah, oh, crap. He might be dead here. Nope. Lignification. Lignification is so good. Yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so... Like, I think, I think I've probably talked to about 100 people since the channel started. That's pretty cool, I think. Like, at, at, at the very least, this channel has given me 100 conversations. And that's... That's more than I could really ask for, to be honest. Like I said, I started the channel because like I wanted to talk about crawl. I want to talk to people. I wanted to have nice conversations, shit conversations, etc., etc. Oh well, we are going to die. God, I love this enemy. What a great interactive enemy. Where your ability to type keys in becomes the main determining factor in how well you do against him. Not even like combat. It's just oh god, what an enemy. What an enemy. What a strongly designed, what a well-designed character. God, I hate I hate hunger so much. It's just ugh, such an annoyance. It's like not actually like relevant most of the time. It's just trivial. It's just like uh and hungry ghosts, it's just like an accounting thing. As long as you're like accurate with your key shots, uh your key presses, you should be fine. But like since you're speedrunning, you're not gonna be as accurate, so it's just uh just so bad. Curse ring of loudness. I almost misspoke. Would have been bad. Alright, well, we got some piety with this character. It's a lot more than we normally would see. 3 RLF is and plus 7 is pretty ridiculous. Uh, and then we go ahead and get needles by Trog, so. You can tell exactly how much Trog loves us. Like, fucking Trog. Classic. Hits us with that good RNG. I love I love needles of sleeping for my speedruns. It's so strong. Such a strong item. Such a good item. Yeah, as you can see with the war axe in tow, we're like pretty much killing everything in one hit, because like what can they do to stop us? It's a plus seven war axe of freezing. At this point in the game, it's pretty overpowered. Even Snork can't take us on. But the, to be fair, Snork generally can't take you on anyway. You are, of course, the ultra Violent. No. You are the Minotaur Berserker. That's pretty overpowered to start with. Alright, six minutes till that. Uh, it's pretty sad. 
Um, but this is a D11 layer. Like I said, it's a little slower. It tends to be slower. Anyway. Surge of Faith. Uh, it's not terrible, but I would have preferred to have regen, I guess. Just because it's less of a pain to deal with. Okay, let's drop this and these. Okay, cool. Ugly thing. Can't even handle it. Oh yeah, Trog just gives us a quarter staff, despite us never training quarter staves. Perfect. It's exactly what we wanted for our birthday. Yeah. Okay, we're lagging out. Oh no, we went into chat. God damn it. <laughs> That's so annoying. You can kinda like see it in the bottom right hand corner, it kinda pops up behind W split. It's kinda funny. But eh, whatever. Oh, okay. Immediately lethally poison, that's good. That's what you generally expect from this kind of environment. Australia, the lair. The beasts. It's like four spiny toads on D1, just absolutely getting shit on by RNG. Five spiny toads. Damn. And a hydra. Just a really shit in the wounds. Oh, I don't know if that's an Australian say Probably not. Eh, probably, yeah. This is another spiny toad. Wow. That's a lot of spiny toads, dude. My goodness. Wow. Strength and intelligence. I really need those. Such an impressive ring. It's gonna help my slaying. It's gonna help my damage. Lol. Ah, <laughs> uh, I have too much contempt for stats. I don't know. I just don't see them to be that good, to be honest. A lot of people might disagree with me, but to those people I say, hey, I'm right. Did we just kill a ghost, or was that just a siren? I'm interested. Ah, it was a ghost. I didn't even notice. To be honest, like, our ghost is so shitty because, like, we're shitty. That, like, you can just berserk the ghost and you always win. Pretty much. Like, your own ghost, you'll never die to your own ghost. Unless you're really stupid. Oh, it catches you in a really bad spot. It's kind of interesting. Alright, so we got the swamp and um, sorry, we got the shoals and snakes. So we're basically going to be screwed out of a run here. It's unfortunate, but eh, we'll try to do some slightly safe strats, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, Battle Axe of Flaming is pretty good. It's actually very good. Unfortunately, it's not good for swamp because swamp doesn't exist in this game. I would have probably dived into Swamp had I found it, but unfortunately because shafted by RNG, we don't get Swamp in this game. It's pretty sad. But what can you do? The answer is not much. I find that I actually do answer myself a lot on this, on this channel. It's kind of interesting. It's one of those weird things that Demise does. Alright, the battle axe is serving its purpose right now, it's just shredding through pretty much everything. I probably don't even need to be here to be honest. I can probably go to lair uh sorry, I can probably go to like dungeon and start doing that stuff, but eh, we'll finish this whole. Cause like I said, I don't I don't care too much about the run as much now. Just cause like without the the big vamp, like the board record is almost impossible. Right now, like it's pretty much just practice until you get the vamp weapon. It's kind of sad that that's the case, honestly. Um, like I said, that's why I said I said this before, probably in a speedrun video, but I said that's why I think that McCleb might have um, standing to be like an actually half decent speedrunning god, just because you basically get vamp, and vamp is like so strong, it makes your games really fast. Like, it'd be pretty interesting if that were the case. All right. I have no idea what I just what I'm explaining. I don't want that. Seven scrolls of blinking. Whoa, it's a lot of scrolls of blinking, man. I didn't realize I had that many. <laughs> it's funny. Like I don't even know what's in my inventory. I don't know why I have a one of lightning on me. To be honest, I don't really need it. All right, let's get that vamp weapon, eh? Please, dear God, why? I wish I had a vamp weapon right now. It'd be nice. It'd be really cool. Ooh, that hurts. Ow, not even close. Let's heal up. And move on. Yay! Nice and not that stressful running. Ooh, a large shield. Probably too late for it, but you know, 
could be relevant. Actually, you know, we could just train it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I guess. Like, we can use this, um, that broad axe of flaming, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. And we can wield this thing and just fight with it, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Just do stuff, I guess. It's kind of the same as, like, kind of, but not really the same as, like, using an executioner's axe before you're at Mindling, I guess. If you think of it like that, it's not terribly bad. Still bad, but eh, whatever. I kind of like the shield anyway. Makes the game more consistent. Is that a, oh no, I was gonna say if that was vampiric. That would be amazing. Perfect run, but no scar. Ooh, Urug has a demon trait, and today she's gone. Oh, he's gone. I don't. Wait, is this she? Is Urug the one that got changed to a she? I forget. She got a vampiric demon trait though. She's a prick. She could have given it to me if it was an axe, but. No, it had to be a demon train. God. What an absolute jerk. A jerk face. Ah, <sighs> damn. I just want a world record, man. I just want it back. Ah, uh, yeah. Kind of thought as much. I mean, anti magic's not terrible. You can use it in swamp, I guess. I mean, snake. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, it's just a regular enchanted battle axe. But... You know, one interesting thing that also happens in these runs is that you don't really get a train dodging that much. Probably should remember to train it a little earlier. I think I'll train it now. We're gonna focus on shield because that's what we do here. We shield up. Uh, okay. Cool. On the hands itchy. Uh, you know, I had fried ice cream today. That was good. So for those of you that are like, but demise, ice cream's cold. How are you gonna fry it? Well the answer is they use like some kind of coconut batter and they put it in an oven at a really specific temperature so as to not so that the batter like acts as an insulator. And the ending is the end result is like a nice coconutty ice cream that has like a biscuity outside. I had caramel sauce on mine, it was nice. Good stuff. Oh, probably should just kill Roxanne. Just force it to kill it and like try to get away from her, I guess. It's a very interesting idea, but yeah, that's what happens. Alright, so we're at D15 and we're about to finish this thing off. If this is a vampiric hand axe, then it's distortion, I think, whatever. Like, I don't care if I get distorted. It really doesn't matter to me. Getting a bist here is, like, not a big deal. It's kind of the funny thing about, like, speed. Oh, crap. Yeah, if you press control down here, it just makes new tabs. It is one of the downsides of playing online. Some of the commands are just apeshit broken. It's funny. Oh, well. You learn to live and not live. Come on. Like, I'm pretty sure you can't waypoint. Oh, oh right. We don't have our poise. Mm. That could be a problem. Ah, whatever. Who cares? I don't. That's the answer. Ooh, what's this? RF plus plus strength plus seven. Wow, that's a completely useless ring. Like it doesn't do anything but give us more RF, which we don't really need. Perfect. <laughs> oh boy, there's another axe, I guess. Never gonna use it, but that's fine. Probably not even gonna deserve that. Just wasn't worth it. Ooh, a war axe. Even before this one on the spam here. Venom. Well, no. No venom for me, please. Probably gonna use anti magic here, just cause like even though it's worse against like certain snakes, it's better against the mage snakes. It's also good against like I don't know, any casters like the Naga Raja, or the Greater Naga, as we like to call it, uh, in English. Um but unfortunately the devs for this game are actually foreign. I think they're like Indian or something, because like they or Aztec, because they really love like renaming shit to just obscure random stuff from their own folklore apparently. I don't know, it's a lot of bias. It's just kind of you deal with it I guess. Like it just they just love their like random shit way too much. It's kinda of weird. Okay, well we've got like a million gifts and absolutely none of them were um 
Ooh, amps, that's. I mean, I guess. Probably just gonna berserk here and hope I don't die. Probably gonna die anyway, though. You know, as is the tradition. Okay. We can probably blink here and get away safely. It's not bad. Okay, we need to break out of this constriction, though. We could get fucked right now. Okay, we got fucked. Um, fear. Go upstairs. Ah, we died. We died going up. Okay. Well, that was a fairly slow run, to, to be fair, so, yeah. I'm going to stop recording, though, so. Boo. Sorry, guys. I couldn't get the world record this time. I'll try again.